Hey guys, this is a more detailed demo that will show you how to install CloudFunnels on your own hosting. So the step one, you go to cloudfunnels.in and you will be shown a login screen where you can log in and there's a login with Google button or you can fill in your email and password and sign in. I'm going to use login with Google. It's going to prompt me which email ID I want to use. So I'm going to use the one that I want to use and it's going to take me to the membership. Now we've got multiple options, install on your own hosting. This is the tutorial that I'm making right now. You've also got installation on Google Cloud and I made a tutorial for that separately. You can see it if you want. Here you can review your installations and generate license for your installations where you install them. And if you're not able to install it, if you just want to uh, get some help, you can outsource it to us. But let's go and learn how to install it on your own hosting. It's very easy, just follow along. So click on install your own hosting and the first thing you need to do is download CloudFunnels script to your computer and there's a button here which says click to download. There's the tutorial right over here too. Click to download. Click it. It's going to download CloudFunnels to your PC. Will not take more than a few seconds. Once the download completes, click on this arrow right over here. You will see an option show in folder. Click on it. All right. So here is CloudFunnels. This is the zip that we've downloaded. Now we got to take it to a server and we will do this inside of cPanel. So I've logged into my cPanel right now. I'm sure if you've ever done any sort of hosting, you're familiar with cPanel. To go to cPanel, you got to type in your hosting server address slash cPanel. Usually it's slash cPanel. Put in your login and password and this is cPanel. You'll be taken to cPanel and here we can now start copying the file to a server. So scroll a little down you will see inside files file manager click on file manager it's going to start a new window and it will show you the structure of your server it's going to show you all the folders or the all the directories on your server and here we have a folder called public html now you will see that there are more folders too like etc logs mail etc now they are for other purposes Anything that we want to uh, load on the website, we need to put in public dot public underscore HTML. So make sure you un you understand that and you go into public HTML. You go inside public HTML. Now on my server, I've got a number of uh, pages already. I've got a number of folders here. We are doing something else too. And you might see some empty pages or you might see some placeholder pages from the hosting. If you see any placeholder pages that you didn't put in, just delete everything because I think you will want a fresh installation of CloudFunnels and maybe you want to put it in the root folder, not in a subfolder. So you can delete everything and put CloudFunnels there. This time what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder cloud called CloudFunnels or CF installation like that. And then I'm going to find this folder CF installation. It's right over here. Double click on it and go into that folder. So you'll see that the directory is empty now and this is where we'll put our cloud funnels. So let's click on the upload button over here and it's going to show us an upload screen. This supports drag and drop. So we'll go back to Windows Explorer and I'm just gonna drag the zip file directly into this area and you can see that it's being uploaded. Shouldn't talk, shouldn't take more than a minute. All right, so we've finished 100% and we'll go back to file manager just click on reload and the file should appear right over here. So you can see we got CloudFunnels zip on our server now and we need to extract it into this folder. So right click on it and you will see a number of options. Extract is one of them because file manager can automatically recognize zip files and extract them. Click on extract and it's going to ask you where do you want to extract. Now you will always want to extract in the folder that you have copied everything in. We have already copied things to CF installation and we want to run our CloudFunnels installation in a folder called CF installations. We don't want any more subfolders. So I'm just going to install it right here. Click on extract files and in a few seconds, your CloudFunnels will be extracted. So if we hit reload again, you can see that you've got all the files here that are required for CloudFunnels. Now we can delete the zip file, select it and click on delete. So you'll find it right over here, delete, click on it. And I permanently delete, deleted the zip file because it's not required anymore. Now you've got the installation cloud funnels is on the server and we can start with a second step, which is connecting with the database. So first we will need to go to the website URL where we have installed cloud funnels. So you can see that on this particular site, I have 
got a domain called risewithforce.com and on that domain in public HTML I have installed it in CF installation so everything that is inside of public HTML would be root level for your domain so all I need to do is inside my new instance rise with force and CF installation click enter and I should see some details so cloud funnels is already here it's pro properly installed and I should see some details about the connection it's asking me to provide a database host name a username password a database name a port and a table prefix so table prefix I can leave as is but I will have to provide cloud funnels with the other information and again we will do that inside the cPanel so let's go to cPanel main again this time what we need to do is create a database you see just like any other online CMS just like WordPress or any other system you have online Cloud Funnels needs to connect to a database to be fully functional and this database is my, is a MySQL database that you can create inside of cPanel so go into cPanel again and you will see an option called PHP my admin so we'll use PHP my admin to do everything but first we need to create the database so click on MySQL databases and here you will see a list of all the databases that you've created and we'll create a new one called Cloud Funnels I'll just call it CF installation right after my current installation and click on create database so the database is now created if you go back you should see it in the list CF installation I have already created it so that's there now we need to add a user to this database and you can do that from MySQL users add new user so I will call it again CF installation and I'm going to use the same password because I'm not going to uh, okay I cannot I have to provide it a good password so I'm gonna type in a password here so here's a better password that I've created paste it here paste it here and click on create user so the user will be created to go back and you can see that you've got a privileged user to called CF installation and now we will proceed further we have to add the user that we have created to the database so you can see that the current user CF installation is already selected the database is also already selected just click on add here and the user will be added to the database so it's gonna take a couple of seconds and it's asking you for privileges you want to give it all the privileges click on make changes so you got a success message it's already done click on go back and now you should see your user listed so when you see privileged users you will see for this database we have the privileged user by this name now we just need to add all of this info into our cloud funnels installation so copy over the username come back here this is the username make sure you delete any spaces before or after if there are okay there there's none the password we already created this was the password and you have to of course note your own password the database name we can get from here this is the database name copy it over the port number is the connection port for the database usually it is 3306 but you can leave it blank because it will connect to the default port by itself finally when you have put in all the information the database host name will be localhost most of the times username database name password click on submit and after connecting it's gonna prompt you for your own name so I'm gonna put in my name it's gonna prompt you for your email ID and you will need to put in a password so again I'm gonna use the same password that I created you should use a different one this is the test installation and now you can log in so put in your email ID log in put in your password log in and we are inside of cloud funnels the cloud funnels installation is done now we need to create a license so we'll do that now my membership email this is the main email by which I ordered cloud funnels is this so I'm gonna put that in and I have to create a licensing code so I'll go back to my membership I'll click on click on your installations I can see all my installations here 
I'll click on generate license and here I have to put the site URL. So go back here, copy the site URL from here, paste it and then click on generate license. Okay, so I just think I logged out so that can happen. So in that case, just log in again. I'm gonna log in. Won't take long. Your installation, generate license, put the path, click on generate new license and you've got a license. Copy it, come back to your dashboard, paste it, verify and you are ready to go. Cloud Funnels is ready and I can create a funnel. I can get started on a funnel. Now one thing I want you to do, one which this is very important, we need to give Cloud Funnels a right permission also inside of cPanel and we can do that by going to cPanel main, then loading up file manager and going into public HTML, going into CF installation that we had. So uh, just need to find it. Yes, there it is, CF installation, double click here. So Cloud Funnels needs to be able to write files. So whenever you duplicate your funnels from somewhere or you upload an image or upload an asset to Cloud Funnels, it needs to write it to your server and it does that in a folder called public funnels. So we will need to create that folder manually like this, public funnels like this. Click on create new folder. If it's not there already, it should be there already. If not there, then click on create new folder. And then you need to give Cloud Funnels right permissions or give your server right permissions by default. And we can do that by right clicking on this and click on clicking on change permissions. And here you need to make sure that the permission is either 755 or it is 777. So you can either just check box all of these things. It will make it 777 or just check box read and write and execute permissions. And you can, you know, leave out the world permission. It should be 755. So based on the numbers that you check, based on the check boxes that you check, the permission number will be deflected, reflected below. So uh, 755 or 777 is what you need. Click on change permissions and that's it. Your Cloud Funnels is now ready to go and you can start creating a funnel. So I'm just gonna create a funnel, my test funnel. And select a funnel type, just gonna go with a basic funnel and it's got the URL right here. I want it reflected on the root. I don't want a further subfolder. So I'll just select CF installation, click on create and now it's done already. I will click on choose template. I'm gonna go with any simple template here. Click on this, it's gonna duplicate it over. And here you've got it. And I can edit this by clicking on edit existing page. So it's loaded a full screen window. I'm just gonna make it smaller. And my page is ready for editing, ready to go. I can modify any image. I can modify any text. I can change the box. I can create fresh links, do anything with it, with it that I want. It's very easy. So that's how you install Cloud Funnels, and I hope this demo was helpful and you will be able to install and use it without a hassle.